dead rod, dead rod, yep. Oh, it's gonna take it. Got him. That's really cool. We are putting the hurt bag on him. Just dogging. It doesn't get old. That is for sure. Oh, look at this guy. This is first ice. We're going across the ice belt with the ice team, and this is the Red Lake Walleye Smackdown. <laughs> Well, we just got through Bemidji and we are northbound to film our first across the ice belt with ice team episode. Headed to Red Lake and I got to admit the anticipation is absolutely killing me to get up there and set the hook. I'm going to meet uh, a guy who is well known for his fishing ability, longtime ice team member Matt Brewer. He has fished up here in northern Minnesota for, for so many years. and. Plus, he's got one of the best beards in the business. So I'm excited to go set the hook with him. I'm excited about this journey of challenges that comes along with, you know, filming and producing these episodes. I, I sure hope that you guys are going to enjoy. enjoy it. We're going to try to bring a mix of, you know, entertainment, a mix of, you know, good education and fishing and travel and all that good stuff and show you some hot bites. So I'm looking forward to sharing a... Uh, the day on the ice with Matt Brewer, and we're gonna meet him up here on the lake and get after it. What's up, boss? Hey. How's it going? Geared up? Yeah. You ready for uh, the first hook set of the Red Lake walleye season? I am. This should be uh, this should be nice. Yeah. This temperature is awesome. It's been so cold, and yeah, I think we picked the perfect day to, to get out. Yeah. 30 degrees here. and south wind and cloudy. Yeah, it's very, very nice. It's a welcome sight. They should be snapping, <laughs> huh? Hopefully. All right, I'm gonna ice armor up and we'll uh, we'll get rocking. All right, I'll finish getting geared up. All right. Oh, that feels good to put these bad boys in. It's wet already and I haven't even started drilling holes. So what we're doing here is um, there's barely any snow on the ice as you can see and Matt found this spot that's milky ice and he just said the structure's on top so we're going to try to focus on this milky ice and see if we can't find a pot of fish here. If not, on we go. That's the beauty part about being mobile. So yeah, basically what we're just trying to do right now is, is find a pot of fish. You know, these fish really roam these long expansive flats and once we find the pot of fish I think we're gonna be able to catch them they should be biting today things are things are right I think they're the first fish of the season yeah. I knew that was a big one right when it came in it dwarfed every mark I've seen today that's a <laughs> that's a beaut he ate it A little too big to keep. I, I might keep some fish today, but that's a little little big, so we'll toss that one back. Yeah, that was on that on that blade spoon, the, the pink and gold. Just came screaming in. Biggest mark I've seen all day. Oh, Jeff's hooked up. We found him. Yeah. Need help over there? You got it. Alright. Boy, you know that's that simple game right there. Matt and I came out. We really aren't on the program. We don't have a bunch of intel. And we pulled up on the first spot and nothing. Second spot, nothing. We just kept on pushing out deeper. And boy, there's fish all over the screen. Matt just set the hook on that nice one. Boy, that's a 
that's a perfect keeper, but I'm not going to keep any yet because I'm going to uh, I'm going to set the hook a lot today, so we'll uh, we'll keep our fish. But perfect keeper and a sweet way to start the season. Awesome. That was really cool. Let's came in and shout it. Look at that sucker. This is exactly why we came up here is to catch these right here. Perfect eater size walleye. We made that move and we found the pot of them. I think it's gonna be kind of game on. I let that last one go. So I'm gonna actually put that one on the ice, get back down there and try to catch another one. I gotta catch my limit before Brewer. Across the Ice Belt has been brought to you by these fine sponsors, Ice Team, St. Paul Ice Fishing Show, Lake of the Woods Tourism, Excel Outdoors, and Arctic Cat. Get ready for two huge shows for the ice fishing fanatic. It's the Ice Fishing and Winter Sports Show presented by Clam in St. Paul, December 4th through the 6th at the St. Paul River Center and Milwaukee, December 11th through the 13th at the Wisconsin State Fairgrounds. Attend daily seminars by the pros. Shop exhibit after exhibit and save on the hottest gear for the world's coolest sports. Plus, enter to win the ultimate ice fishing giveaway. For more information, visit stpaulicefishingshow.com or milwaukeeicefishingshow.com. Ice fish the famous waters of Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world. There are 60 lodging facilities with everything from do-it-yourself to full-service resorts with ice fishing packages and American plans. Enjoy heated ice transportation to your warm and comfortable fish house or use one of our well-maintained ice roads or snowmobile trails. World-class ice fishing awaits you. For more information on lodging and ice fishing, go to lakeofthewoodsmn.com. Visit Chase on the Lake on beautiful Leech Lake in Walker, Minnesota. Chase has plenty of excellent waterfront activities, including jet ski, paddleboard, pontoon, hydro bike rentals, and more. Enjoy some of the best fishing in Minnesota on your own or on a guided fishing expedition. Experience fine dining while you relax and unwind with patio and lakefront service. Chase also has a wide variety of lodging options, including lodge rooms and one, two, or three bedroom condos. Visit chaseonthelake.com to book your stay today. Clam Outdoors and Outdoor News are partnering to highlight youth who are superstars in the outdoor world. Check out complete details online at outdoornews.com slash youth of month. I just had a dead stick with the, the blade jig there. I just had rod hold around the four-wheeler and paid off those uh, bobber rods or or set lines are always bonus fish. So we've been kind of moving around out here, hold a hole, and now that we know we're on a pod, we're kind of sticking close to one area and uh, giving each hole a little bit of a better shake. And since a couple of fish were caught out of this hole, I figured we better have a dead stick here. And it paid off since Jeff has a little competition going. I think I better throw that one on the ice. You know, there's something truly special about this ice fishing game. And, you know, Matt and I have been talking the past few days and to actually be out on the ice is what we love to do. I mean, this is this is where we belong. And the first two hook sets of the season is, is what it's all about. I, I'm, I'm so jacked up right now to be fishing with a good buddy and fellow ice team member. And I'm just taking, taking the blade jig here. What I'm doing is actually hooking it back through the tail to give that, give that minnow free range of motion, super active. And then I'm not even using my Vexilar, I'm just dropping it down to the bottom. I happen to have a couple of rod holders on, on my Arctic Cat here, so I just stick it in there and keep peeking back once in a while and it seems to pay off. Matt just caught that fish on his dead stick, so I set, I set one up. 
a little bit bigger chub just sitting right next to me and I think we're kind of settled in for this for the spot ah, that's another nice keeper look at that I'm using the same thing we added kind of a common thing theme is a blade jig you know you don't need a bobber that's the great thing about meat stick rod but just perfect keepers super fun well I'm one up on Brewer, so it's kind of game on <laughs> fast and furious right now. And once you feel good about the spot, you start contacting some fish. We're not marking fish all the time. We can kind of slow down, settle down. We have some dead sticks out now, and now we're just waiting for the fish to come to us. Where we initially had set up, you know, there's no life. We didn't see much, so we just made a transition, caught some fish, and now it's game on. So slow down once you find the fish. If you don't feel good about it, be willing to move. And that's the whole game, the catching and being successful, putting numbers of walleyes on the ice. Here we come. Oh, got it. Yeah. That was really cool. It took a while to get them fired up. Got them fired up, and he just came up and hammered it. Look at this guy. That is another nice keeper walleye right there. This is a perfect keeper. This is exactly why we came up, but I'll show you what I'm using. It's pretty funny Matt and I both showed up and I didn't know what he was going to use and and uh, we both show up and we have the exact same jig on this was by far the best lure in my tackle box last year for both crappies and walleyes and it's the blade spoon and this is the pink with the gold back this is my favorite color um, I had the most success with it I'll just show you how I'm how I'm rigging it the nice thing about having a bait puck is I don't have to carry a bunch of minnows around I can keep them in here they stay they stay somewhat fresh they don't they don't freeze up real bad and it's pretty simple you just take the minnow head you just poke it right through and you come through that hard part of the skull just like that you just pinch it off just the minnow head learning the triggering qualities to that spoon and I got it dialed in now when we first started out this morning they were really aggressive so they were coming up and eating it but now they want it pounding. So I'm ripping that jig up, let it come down, ripping that jig up. And what that fish did is it charged three times, charge, charge, charge. And I got it fired up more and more and more. And he finally chowed it. So it doesn't matter what lure you're using, learn the triggering qualities because it's gonna help you become a better fisherman. This episode's Tip from the Godfather with Dave Gins has been brought to you by Lake of the Woods Tourism, the walleye capital of the world. First ice can be the best time of the year to catch fish through the ice. But some safety needs to be uh, used when you're out there on the ice. Uh, here's a clam lifeline, it's called, and it can be used a couple ways. If I see somebody fall through the ice, I could even be driving by and see this. I could get this out and I could just give it a toss and it would slide out onto the ice or the handhold on the other end and I got an opportunity to pull that person to, to shore. But what I like to do when I'm out on the ice, this has 50 feet of rope in it. So we got this pulled out 50 feet. I take the other end here. And I pull this with me and I drag that 50 feet of rope. So if I did fall through the ice, one of my friends could pull on the other end of the rope and pull me out. Well, hopefully no one will fall through the ice this year, but if someone does, this is a way we can get them out. Across the Ice Belt has been brought to you by these fine sponsors, Milwaukee Ice Fishing Show, Thorn Brothers, Chase on the Lake, Clam, Ice Armor, and Jason Mitchell Elite Series. We're built on passion. We're built on engineering. We're built on technology. We're built on manufacturing. We're built on service. We're built on fun. We're built to go harder, faster, longer. We're built to ride more. Arctic Cat, share our passion. If customer service is something you appreciate, look no further than Thorn Brothers Custom Rod and Tackle Shop with a friendly staff that is willing to help assist you in all your fishing equipment needs. You won't find a larger selection of rods, lures, and specialty fishing gear. Looking for a new stick to set the hook with? 
Thorne Brothers Custom Rod Builders are the best in the business. Huge selection of hard to find equipment and across the ice belt approved. Thorne Brothers, located in Blaine, Minnesota or found online at thornbros.com. Get ready for two huge shows for the ice fishing fanatic. It's the Ice Fishing and Winter Sports Show presented by Clam in St. Paul, December 4th through the 6th at the St. Paul River Center and Milwaukee, December 11th through the 13th at the Wisconsin State Fairgrounds. Attend daily seminars by the pros. Shop exhibit after exhibit and save on the hottest gear for the world's coolest sports. Plus, enter to win the ultimate ice fishing giveaway. For more information, visit stpaulicefishingshow.com or milwaukeeicefishingshow.com. To truly see the future, it's good to know the past. Which is why Clam Outdoors brings industry-leading engineering into every ice shelter that we create to outperform, outsize, and outclass the competition in every design and in every detail. Because it's not enough to just have been the first ones there. We also want to be the last ones standing. Clam Outdoors, bring it. You know, this team of anglers that we have with ice teams, a pretty special bunch of guys, isn't it? Yeah, it's guys awesome. And gals, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool that you can get so many people from so many different areas. And, and uh, I've heard a couple of the guys refer to it as a brotherhood. And, yeah. And, I mean, whether you see them once a year at a show or, yeah. or at pro day or something, it, it's, it's like you've known them forever. It's really cool. I, I mean, I get chills right now when you and down my spine when you talk about that because there's so much emotion that we put into this sport, and, and I mean, talk about that. You know, be, being at shows away from your family is a little hard sometimes, yeah. and and even uh, coming into winter, we we were talking a little off camera about how fall is so short and we enjoy fall, and yeah, win, winter really crept up quick this year, and you know, you're you're not quite ready for ice fishing, but getting out today for the first time, it's like immediately that fire burns and it's like yeah. you yeah. set set the hook into that first fish and it's like okay i'm ready to do this for the next four and a half months yeah and it is a long season you know your family sacrifices a little bit and we're away from them and the support at home is is huge for for me i know that and, you know but we just have a passion for chasing these animals you know whether it's crappies in, in Bemidji or walleyes and lake trout you know wherever it is that we're going and you know we really truly truly have a special team with ice team and, and all the guys feel that same oh. way feels like a good fish Jeff Feels like one of the better ones of the day. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Nice walleye, right in the yapper, look at that. Unhook, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. It evens the score. <laughs> it does, I think. Boy, they're chunky, aren't they? Yeah, very, if, very fat. If you want to come up and catch a bunch of walleyes and have a good time on the ice, I mean, it doesn't get any more perfect than this. No, middle of the day, where else can you do it? Yeah, beautiful. Not a lot of places, so. Let's eat that one. Huh? That was a nice one. Nice work. That was awesome <laughs> on the old dead stick. Yeah, it's been working. <laughs> awesome. Do that again. Another one in the dead stick. They're nice fish. Stronger one starts, so I busted out this for them, so now they can go fishing. Nice midday walleye there. Look at that guy. You know, now that we kind of entered this middle part of the day, the did sticks have really been hot. Matt set that one up a while ago and he was catching fish. And so Feels like I set it up fish, and yeah. caught a couple on it. It's a nice, nice keeper. Look at the size of that one. Middle of the day, 
bright sunshine on the dead stick. Look at how fat that fish is. That's, that's the best fish of the day, and that is uh, an awesome midday walleye. You can't ask for anything better. And that one's over the slot, so we're gonna toss that one back. Man, that is one chunky walleye. That was a beaut. Jeff may have caught his limit first, but I got the big fish. As walleye anglers, we spend tons and tons of money on our lures to catch these fish. Now, one of my favorite lures is a spoon. I've never had a super efficient way to store them. You put them in a, so a hard plastic box like this, and they bounce around, they get tangled up, and, and so on and so forth. But I have a really cool solution for you. Okay, so you take the clam soft plastic folder, which is actually built for your Mackie plastics. But the really cool thing about the blade spoon is it comes packaged like this. What you do is you take it out of the package and it stays in just like this. You take it out and it's situated just like this. And what I've done is I just slide them right in there. So you can see I have all my spoons ready. They're organized, they're tight. They're not getting caught on everything. I can just pull one out when I'm ready to use it and we're good to go. So that's a great way to store your spoons. It keeps the paint fresh, keeps them tangled free, and it just allows you to be a lot more efficient on the ice. It's pretty easy to get caught up in the hype of fishing and not slow down and appreciate what's going on behind us. It's been an awesome day on the ice with Jeff. A pretty special day to share together as ice team members. Being the original isn't just about being one of a kind. It's about being the leader and staying that way. That's why every piece of ice armor features the latest advances in cold weather technology. Specially crafted, built to last, and tested in every detail so intensely that the only thing that's missing is you. Join the original revolution at ClamOutdoors.com. The Jason Mitchell Elite Series Ice Rods and Ice Rod Combos are the most thoroughly designed species-specific rods on the ice. Designed oh, wow. with the input from some of the finest anglers from across the ice belt, these rods feature hypermodulus graphite for extreme sensitivity and are built with the highest quality components available. So whether you're finesse fishing panfish, spoon feeding walleyes, or chasing hard charging pike and lake trout, Jason Mitchell Elite Series has an ice rod designed for whatever you do. Got him, yeah. Oh, game on. The sun is a setting and it's game on. Boy, what an amazing day. It did not disappoint, that is for sure. Oh, it doesn't get all those big head shakes right at the hole. Oh, look at this one, nice. What a way to kick off. The prime time bite, that is a dandy Red Lake walleye. I don't know, it's game on, that's for sure. I'm really excited about what's about to happen. Our sun, we have about an hour left to light and the fish just started, you know, turning positive. This one, uh, this one chowed the old blade jig on the did stick. Get that unhooked and let her go. See you later, big girl. If you're coming up here fishing, you know, don't look past utilizing that second rod. It's amazing how many fish we've caught on just the dead sticks. That is so fun. Doing the dance right at the hole. All right. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Sun setting. Good one. It's another nice keeper. All right, we're gonna let this one go. Matt's got one over there. They're absolutely chowing. Let her go. You know, it's been an awesome day, and if this is the last fish I catch today, I, I, I couldn't be happier. It's been an awesome day on the ice with Jeff, and we've caught a ton of fish. Missed some fish, had some fun, had some laughs. It's been absolutely incredible. Yeah, that was cool. Just chowed it. They are hungry. Oh, come here, girl. They are hungry walleyes. 
The old pink blade spoon. They like it. You know, you get to the point where you say, do I need to catch another one? The answer is always yes. Nice. Wow. This is the most weight I've felt today. All right. Biggest of the day, but sure the best fight. Yeah, that pink blade spoon uh, has a few more scratches in them than uh, than it did when you started. There, take your fish. That's thank a, you, thank you. Yeah, another dandy. Yeah, you know, Matt, it's uh, it's pretty easy to get caught up in the hype of fishing and not slow down and appreciate what's going on behind us. You know, we got walleyes on the ice, hook sets, and ultimately just a, a pretty special day to share together yeah, you know, as, as ice team members. And this is what we're about, you know, educating, having fun on the ice, and, and appre appreciating what we have, you know, across the ice belt, so. Yeah, it's amazing looking over your shoulder, seeing that sunset. Yeah. All these walleyes, all these hook sets, it's just been, you couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah, people don't get to see the, the tough days that we have on the ice. And, and for us to have this very first one, it's really special to have just a tremendous day of hook sets. I mean, no, there's no way they're going to be able to see all of the fish catches, but awesome way to end it. Thank you for, for sharing the day with me. No, thank you. It was, it was definitely awesome. Um, I think we're spoiled for the season now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A little no, no doubt. No <laughs> doubt spoiled. Well, we'll probably let that one go and, and we'll pack things up. Yeah, definitely. Sounds Great good. day. Across the Ice Belt would like to thank all of their sponsors for their support and making this show possible. 